All right, guys, we're going to do the one minute workout together now. So I've given you all the form. You can either, you can look through the form section here in this video. Let's get started. Five minute workout, hip circles. Then we're going to lateral lunges. Let's see if my brain remembers all this when we do it. Sumo squats with a heel lift. You can either do it bottom or top, up to you. Leg swings and then a hamstring stretch. Let's get started. I have my cooking timer and some music for you. All right, start. Hip circles. I'm going to do 30 seconds one way, 30 seconds the other. Beautiful. Really think about pushing your big toe, little toe and heel down. Okay, swapping directions. Swing it round the other way. Keep that smile on. You want the intention of fun. Enjoy your own music if you want. Remember, it's only five minutes, and five minutes means you've done everything you need to do. Keep going. You're doing amazing. Three. Two, one. Okay, so next we are going into, we are going to go into a lateral lunge. So 30 seconds each side, coming down and up. Pushing back, remember like you're sitting into the sofa, chest is up, ribs are in. Whew. Let's reset that. So we've done 15 seconds approximately. <laughs> I press to go two minutes. Does anybody want to work for two minutes? So we're only going to do one minute each side to make this a five, uh, 30 seconds each side to make this a five minute workout, changing sides. But if you want to make this longer, because we have two sides, you could do one minute each side and make this workout longer. So we've got 10. Keep going. All right, you're nearly there. My counting is excellent today. Actually got five seconds. <laughs> All right, last one. Okay, so next we're gonna go into sumo squats. Once this timer goes off, I'm gonna start it again. And you can either do the heel lift at the bottom or the heel lift at the top. You can hear I've got a little bit of heart rate raised right now. So a small little bit of workout. The aim is to get your habits building. And squat. Come up and toe lift. One minute of these awesome ones. So I'm really pushing my heels back and out. Sinking as low as I can go before I need to come back up and I'm keeping it as fluid as possible and I'm rising with power into my toes. going. I've got my timer going off. I've got to go do the another appointment and so everything is a little bit out of order today but nothing has to be perfect. Keep going. I'm going to do another 10 seconds because of my timer. <laughs> so nothing's ever perfect and that's something that I want you to see even those that are sharing their workouts. All right we're going into leg swings. One minute. Hold on to something if you need. Use your glutes to kick back. Use your core to come forward. You should be feeling balanced. You can hear that my heart rate is starting to go up. I'm huffing and puffing here. So, 45 seconds on the clock to go. So that means that there's now 10 seconds left of this leg. I'm trying it without any assistance to balance due to the fact that I want to challenge myself. Other leg, you can do that too. But looking around, it becomes a little bit wobbly. <laughs> Keep going. Beautiful. Woo! I've got 13 seconds of wobbles to go. One leg is always harder. And for some reason, I seem to do the easy leg first. Four seconds. Oh. All right. Hamstring stretch. Okay, so I'm going to go 
go into this hamstring stretch. I'm gonna pull myself down towards my leg and breathe. Now, if you don't like to lean down, you can also come into this hamstring stretch here, which I didn't show you in the tutorial. Think about sitting up tall, pulling your chest through and down, inhaling and exhale. Again, you can point here to take the sciatic nerve off. And we've got 30 seconds left, so if you're changing to the other side, change to the other side now. Breathing deeply, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. 20 seconds. And there is your workout done. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, it's a really great way to show you how to do a quick workout. So even if you only have a small amount of time, it may not be effective enough to give you the exact results you want, but it will be effective enough to start your results and give you habits. So don't underestimate the power of five minutes. Power of five minutes is about mental mindset, mental habits. Also, don't underestimate the power of five minutes over nothing at all because that springs the stepping stone to those castles in the sky of the goals that you want, but doing nothing at all gets you further away from your goals. Also, a great opportunity to show you. Timers are going off. Um, I have a, a kitchen timer for my um, timer. Th things are not perfect when we do them, but that still yields results when you do them. So thanks for joining me, and I look forward to your comments and what you're enjoying with these workouts, if you're looking for something in particular, and I'll see you next time. No. Hi guys, so let's start with hip circles. You're going to pull your pelvis bone up. So you're thinking about sucking your abs in and up. Pull your ribs in, but open your chest. Legs are about hip width. You can turn those tootsies out a little bit. And then from there, you're gonna bump your hips side to side. Once you feel like you have that movement, bump the hip to the side, push the hip back, lean the chest forward, push back to the center, and then lean to the side. And then from there, you need to push the hip forward as you open your chest, not dumping the lower back and all the way around. So if we were to dump in the lower back, we do this, Mr. Bean, but we're not doing that. <laughs> We're going to open up through the chest, open up. So you're going to bump around, my chest stays open, ribs stay in, pushing through the side. And here, lifting chest up, not this, lifting chest up as I push the hips forward and come around. So you can see the core is very active here too. So I'll go the other way. The core is pulling the pelvis bone up, the ribs are in and the core is pulling the pelvis bone in. As you push the, the sit bones to the sky and my abs stay active the whole time. So you're gonna do 30 seconds each way, hip circle lunges. So you're gonna take a step out to the side. One leg is gonna stay straight and the other leg is going to bend. Now, as we do that, you can have your feet slightly turned out if you want or straight ahead. From there, I'm going to bend one, I'm going to push my bottom back, remember that triangle of the squat, like I'm going in to sit on a chair on one side. My butt cheek is just going to make it on one side. So imagine I'm going into the sofa, I'm going to take a seat, take a moment, and come up. So from the side, it looks like this. You've got that nice V, so you're still pulling the pelvis bone in and up, but not rounding, and you're not arching too far back like this. It's a nice medium to make a V, and then I'm going to push my weight in big toe, little toe heel, Come all the way down, chest up, ribs in, and come back up. Go as low as you can, and you will do each side, going as low as you can, that is comfortable, and I feel a lot of glute activation here. So we're gonna do a sumo squat with calf raises. So a nice wide squat. As you come down, you're sitting tall. So you're coming down, 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 and you can do the calf raise here, or you can come up, and you do the calf raise there. Or you could do both. It's kind of up to you where you want to do the calf raise. So add this to your experience. If you want to add a little bit more glute, then you come down and you lean forward, 
creating a hip based movement. And the chest is a little lower but still up, and that creates the glute movement to come into that movement. So it's kind of up to you. I try to stay tall on this one, going down. As I lift up my heels, I'm squeezing my glutes so my glutes stay active. And squeeze and come back up. Beautiful. Now we're going to do the leg swings. So you're just going to hold onto a wall and then swing your legs. Now you're not arching too much and rounding, keeping a fairly straight bottom leg and you're using your core to lift the leg up. So if you weren't using the core, you would end up like this. If you're using the core, you end up tall. And you're just swinging that leg. Woo! Good for balance, but again, hold onto a wall if you need to and swing for 30 seconds. Now as you kick back, use your glute by pushing through your heel. As you come forward, use your core to bring your leg up. And now let's stretch out. You can do a hamstring stretch two ways. One, you can stretch down like a normal traditional hamstring stretch, either sitting here or here. You can have your legs bent as long as your sit bones go up so your hamstrings activate. The origin insertion goes away. And hold here for one minute. If you find you would like to do singular and or if you have sciatic nerve issues, you can place your heel up onto a block that stops the sciatic nerve impacting your flexibility and go from a one-legged, so you're putting your weight onto the toe of the front leg. Imagine I have a block underneath and then I'm pulling myself down. If you don't have any sciatic nerve, you can do the same stretch, one leg, without the toe up. That just creates less tension through the nerve tension if you have any, to have a stronger stretch. If you're doing both legs one minute, if you're doing singular legs, 30 seconds each. And there's your workout for today.